guys, Sophia here with turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com. I'm back with another video. This time we are talking about the 2020 IFBB Pro Asia Grand Prix bikini results. Now this competition actually took place last weekend, but I haven't been able to find any official stage photographs. So rather than making you wait any longer, I figured I would just come on with a quick video using photos from Instagram. Now, as a quick reminder, in case you haven't seen my other videos, in order to qualify for Olympia in the bikini division, which has more than 25 contests in the qualification period, the winner of a contest automatically qualifies for Olympia, and then second, third, and fourth, and fifth place earn points. So second place gets you five points, third gets you four, fourth gets you three, and fifth gets you two. And at the end of the period, the top five ladies all earn a place to, to compete at Olympia. So let's begin by looking at our scorecard. Now there are only four competitors, so all four earn points for Olympia. Now please bear with my pronunciation of the names. In first place, we had Hai Kyung Huang, second place, Bo Le Sio, third place, Sian Kang, and fourth place, Ji Sun Kim. Now you may recognize our first place winner, Hai Kion Huang from Monster Zim. We saw her compete at the beginning of the month where she got third place. And here she is now at the Asia Grand Prix getting first. And I think it is a very well-deserved first. She looks beautiful. It's not a good quality photo, I know. I just zoomed in from a video she posted to her Instagram. But I think it's clear that even in this terrible photo, she has a beautiful shape. Very hourglass, beautiful round shoulders with wide lats, a tiny little waist with super chiseled obliques, gorgeous round glutes with just enough definition in the quads that even in a terrible picture, you can see a little bit of definition and a line kind of running down her leg. She also has gorgeous posing, so I think it was a well-deserved first place. All right, I also was able to find this picture of all four ladies on stage from the Sainsky Instagram page. So let's zoom in a little. You can see they're not in the typical order. I think this was before they were rearranged by the judges. But uh, I have to say right off the bat, I love that they're all wearing beautiful blue bikinis. <laughs> Everybody's in their own unique shade of blue and it's perfectly complimentary to each one of them. And I love it. I also love that they all have their hair off of their shoulders towards the back. Um, I, I never like when the hair is covering up any of that hard-earned muscle. So they're all doing it perfectly, in my opinion. It's to the back, it's out of the way, still romantic and flowy and beautiful, but not covering any muscle. So very perfect. Now, also I have to say, this photo is taken from the audience at an angle. So we're not seeing the exact thing that the judges would have seen of course right but it's the best i could find and i think even from this not so great photo you can still pick out a few little pieces of the puzzle of why the ladies placed the way they did so i think our first and second place winners definitely have a little bit more muscle mass in their legs than the third and fourth and they have a really beautiful way of posing to really bring out that hourglass shape the lats are spread, the shoulders are very rounded, beautiful rounded glutes, and then that little bit extra muscle mass in the legs to really have a balanced, balanced and proportionate body. Very beautiful. Not to say that our third and fourth don't also have beautiful bodies because they absolutely do. And I also want to say here that there is nothing wrong with the placings simply because there were only four girls. I think all four of them were very well deserving of the of the placings that they got. And I thought it was a great competition, very professional. Anyway, um, if I could say anything about our third place winner, I think she has amazing abs. Her shoulders are also very beautiful. Certainly from this angle, I'm not seeing that same amount of lat spread to really give her that hourglass, kind of that exaggerated, the X shape. Um, but it could just be the angle. And then, our fourth place winner has, again, beautiful abs, nice conditioning. Um, you've got a little bit of calf showing. Her, her quads look gorgeous. But if I had to make a comment of why I think she got fourth, 
I feel like her shoulders are quite broad. So the balance between the top and the bottom of her body, the upper lower, is not quite as good as some of the other girls. Could just be the angle, maybe from the front, she's a lot more twisted looking and it's more narrow looking, but from this angle, it's, it's not quite the balance that you see in the others. Could just be a matter of posing. Okay, now I was able to find a few more pictures on Instagram. I couldn't find anything for our fourth place winner. So please, if any of you know of any pictures that exist out there, I would love to see. So please comment below. Um, okay, so you can see our first place winner, holy smokes, beautiful glutes, gorgeous glute ham tie-in, well-deserved first place. She looks fantastic. Second place, lovely conditioning, very flat tummy, gorgeous round shoulders, nice amount of muscle in her leg. And I, I think all of them have really subtle, beautiful makeup, gorgeous hair, very impressed. And then our third place winner, wow, those abs are amazing. She looks just chiseled, absolutely gorgeous. Love them all. Okay, from a points perspective, the list has been updated already online, so you can see Haikyun Huang is on the qualified list. And then from a points perspective, Bola Sio is now at five. Sien Kang, I didn't notice her name on the list, but she should have earned four points for this competition. And then Ji Sun Kim is now at six. Okay, now, tomorrow is a huge day for bikini. We have the Tahoe Show. And it is an insane lineup of women competing. It's going to be the show of the summer. No joke. So make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be back right away with a recap of that show. It's going to be out of this world. Then next weekend, we have the Minneapolis Pro Bikini. The weekend after that, we have both Battle in the Desert and the European Championship, which is extra exciting because the European Championship we're going to get to see some international competitors, and the top three will qualify for Olympia, not just the top one. So that's very exciting. And then the weekend after that will be the final weekend for qualifying for Olympia. That's it. So we're going to have the Chicago Pro in Atlanta, the Auckland Pro in New Zealand, and then the Sacramento Championships all on that last weekend. Very, very exciting. So please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my recaps. Please give me a like if you like this video. Let me know in the comments what you think. Which show are you most excited for this October? There's so many to come. You can find me at turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and of course on Instagram at turquoisetoffee. Catch you tomorrow for the Tahoe Show.